I'm going to talk about a Unix terminal session versus a subshell. Every time you open a new terminal window, it's going to be a login shell, not a subshell. Okay, I just opened iTerm. That started a Unix terminal session. Every time I say new terminal session, think new login shell. Think of Unix terminal sessions as the way Unix was used in the old days. You had a mainframe, and then you had some dummy terminals. You go up to the dummy terminal and issue a command letting it know that you want it to start a session with the mainframe. When you do that, you enter the username and password, and then it runs some configuration files to configure the environment for you. Now, on the other hand, okay, so that's what opening an, a terminal on your Mac does. It starts a new login session, which is a login subshell. As a matter of fact, it identifies the session you opened by a terminal, this TTYS000. Over here, it shows you some stats about your last terminal session. Okay, on the other hand, if you're going to start a subshell, you would do something like give the bash command like this. Okay, now you're in a subshell. Also, I believe if you open a new tab in iTerm, no, actually, the new tabs start another session. They don't start a subshell. A subshell is started when you, um, like, give the bash command, or when you run a bash script, or some other kind of shell script from a different type of shell other than bash. That is running in a subshell. One of the reasons it's important to know the distinction between a terminal session and a subshell is there are, for example, different configuration files that run. There's bash rc, and then there's bash profile. I believe bash profile runs when you start a new session but it doesn't run every time you, you start a new subshell. However, bash rc, I believe, does run once every time you start a subshell. The other reason it's important to understand the difference between sessions and subshells is when you want to understand the scope of the variables being used and also the export command, what that does. You have to be aware of subshells, which subshell you're in. But I won't get into those in this video.